Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the channel Exotic Sense with Nikhil and today I want to thank you because we've reached a humble milestone of 10,000 subscribers and this journey has, is nothing short of phenomenal, spectacular in my life. It's, it's become a part of my life and uh, fragrances, reading about fragrances, learning about fragrances, sharing experience with people, learning from other people's experiences has become uh, such an interesting part of my life and it's just you guys, it's just you. There are so many people I want to thank, but seriously, I cannot name you. Also, I will refrain from talking about anyone in particular. All of you, my subscribers, the perfumers, the fragrance community, uh, on YouTube, off YouTube, and uh, so many other people have been so instrumental in my journey, in my learning. So I thank you all. You've all been a teacher, a guru in my life in one way or the other. So I just wanted to say that before I start this special video. Uh, this might be a long video, so I, I, I would really thank you guys if you have the patience to sit through it because it's a very important topic and uh, it's a very misunderstood topic as well in the fragrance uh, community. Uh, many of us don't get performance from our perfumes. Even when people are saying it's one of the longest lasting perfume in the world uh, and you see that performance tab on Fragrantica, uh, you know, it's always up, but you don't get the performance, the desired performance from a fragrance. My journey, my fragrance journey started with a video where I talk about a clone of this, this beautiful niche perfume known as Creed Aventus. It's a very simple composition. It's, it's, and, and that's what I love about it. It's, it's not, a, it's not a perfume art. It's, it's not a, piece of art. It's basically a perfume which balances practicality and art in a very nice way. It, it has a signature tone. Anyone can recognize it from a very far distance because this thing goes really wide. And incidentally, this is also one of those fragrances which causes a lot of fatigue. It causes a lot of fatigue. In fact, this bottle is from 2014. The batch code is uh, 14G01. So this is one of the most popular batches alongside 14K01. So yeah, I know it, this batch talk is bullshit and I also don't believe in one, but uh, uh, this fragrance causes a lot of fatigue. And this is the reason why I have this fragrance with me. I bought this off a person who, who loved Aventus but did not get a proper performance out of it. But when I wore this fragrance, I got 20 hours plus on my skin. And it was pretty shocking for the guy. And um, since then, I have loved this bottle so much because it's got a lot of smoky vibe in here. Let me spray this perfume up. I'm spraying this after years, maybe. How I love the smell of Aventus. It's still fresh. It's quite strong though. The tar note is pretty strong in here. It has that chalky ambergris, sweets of musk, beautiful simple cologne and uh, all weather. Uh, versatile cologne gets the compliments, gets heads turning, stuff like that. So. What is olfactory fatigue? All right, to understand this phenomenon, I'll, I'll take some basic examples from life. Olfactory fatigue uh, is basically olfactory exhaustion or olfactory sensory overload or olfactory timeout in basic words. Now what happens is, it, it's a protective instinct, all right? It's a protective instinct. Many of us have, you know, we are animals basically. We have evolved as humans, but we are animals and we, we have many reflexes. I'm a doctor, so I can tell you there are many primal reflexes in, uh, in us, uh, you know, involuntary reflexes, which we, we are not aware of. With time, with evolution, we've forgotten about our primary senses. You know, our nose is one of the most amazing things, you know, in our body. It's, it's one of the most amazing, sophisticated mechanisms that one can think about. And um, you have to train it, all right? You have to train it. You have to let it do the work. You have to train it so that you pick more and more fragrance notes and uh, you pick up more, more and more of these fragrance notes. You, you train your nose to understand performance 
uh, of fragrances to study fine materials to study uh, general perfume materials to 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 study uh, some really phenomenal stuff which is basically your high end ouds and stuff like that um, kinam kiara stuff like that you need a very you need a highly trained nose to understand fine and nuances in perfume so olfactory fatigue is something which which affects all of us in daily life i'll give you an example what what is olfactory fatigue when you enter your house and your wife's cooking or your mother's cooking something really nice in india we love biryani or that we love palao and stuff like that so i'll take that as an, take that as an example when you enter your home or when you're just about to enter your home you get this aroma and it it pulls you towards it but when you are actually inside your house in about 1 or 2 minutes you just forget about it all right you just forget about it it's like that smell never existed all right and you will not be able to smell it anymore but another person who's entering your house at that moment will be able to smell it all right it means it means what it means is your nose has adjusted itself to the strong aroma of the food item being cooked all right it doesn't mean that it does not exist it still exists for people who are still alien to that smell but you have developed a certain resistance to that fragrance all right or to that smell to that aroma now the reason behind this is our primary reflex it's a protective instinct it's a pro- protective reflex where your nose is designed to pick up uh good aromas it your nose is designed to distinguish between good aroma and a bad aroma like dogs can pick up the smell of drugs firearms explosive etc etc your nose knows a lot about nature it helps you as a survival tool so what it does it basically times out that 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 particular particular smell so that you do not become you do not become immune to other smells around you you are aware of the other smells around you and this thing keeps on multiplying so if you have about three aromas in a room the first thing which hits you you get uh, sensitized to that first then you forget about it then the second one then the third one it's it's a step wise thing and finally you become uh, immune of all the smells temporarily now that's what happens in fragrances and people get frustrated and this can happen a lot a lot with fragrances a lot quicker with fragrances because fra- fragrances are powerful fragrances are are developed in a way that they project aventus has a lot of synthetic molecules which are strong powerful then another popular f- perfume from the same house creed which i love quite similar to aventus but it has a lot of added layers to it uh, florals uh some green bitter elements some pra- powderiness some dry um woodiness which they call oud so royal princess oud also has the same problem when i wear this fragrance i don't know what's there in uh, creed's base most of the materials will fatigue your nose very quickly so that's what happens with creed and um uh, it can happen with anything all right not just creed any other fragrance many people complain about performance issues it's this phenomenon playing at that moment but guys in fragrances there's this special thing this this special phenomenon which you may or may not be aware of and i just wanted to share from my experiences and also give you tips on how to uh, you know avoid these problems if i wear more than three fragrances more than two fragrances on my skin it's very natural that my nose will get keep my nose will keep keep on getting uh, shut off all right it will keep on shutting off those smells until uh, you know it reaches a point where each and every smell will be gone within 10 seconds all right so for example if 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 i wear creedamentus in the morning i come back in the evening i spray i i decide to test this perfume i you know you know it's just looking at me it's just looking at me from the scent cupboard and i'm 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 really tempted to wear this i wear this fragrance i smell this for about 10 seconds and then it goes off poof i can't smell it anymore so i decide to wear another fragrance which is uh, something of this kind which is basically an oud from 
uh, Ensar Oud, Oud Royal. It's, it's a beautiful Sri Lankan oil. I wear this. 10 seconds, gone. So I finally decided to wear some old, old school Kinam from Russian Adams Feel Oud. So what happens? This final fragrance will finally go in, a, in about 5 seconds. And most other people will be able to smell everything that I'm wearing except me. If they decide to spend some time with me, like about 5 minutes, 6 minutes, they'll also go through the same phenomenon. Alright? It's not just you. Even they will go through the same phenomenon. So if it's your wife, if you're going out, if you're sitting in the same car, if she is in the fragrance radius, all right, fragrance circumference, fragrance radius. If she is somewhere in the fragrance radius, she keeps on getting stimulated by the smell. She automatically will also develop this fatigue. So she also won't be able to smell this on you. That's the problem. And who do you ask uh, if your fragrance is smelling good or not? Who do you ask? It's basically that person who's close to you. By the time you, by the time they can actually opine about the fragrance, the fragrance is already gone to their noses, but the fragrance actually remains with you. That's what happens. All right. So that's one phenomenon you need to be aware of. It's, it's like a communicable disease. So this overlap is something which causes or, or, or hampers um, most of our day-to-day uh, -day fragrance experiences day-to-day -day fragrance indulgences you know as a fra fragrance head i know you have the same disease you have the same problem where you come home and you just open your scent cupboard you have you've collected a lot of fragrances over the years you have like 200 and 300 fragrances with you and you you, you really have a tough time deciding which fragrance you want to wear and um, you know you miss out on a fragrance for a long time and you just want to give it some time and you decide to wear it you keep on layering fragrances and it, it becomes a disaster so this is what happens. So how do you tackle all these problems? How do you tackle all these problems? Now for a fragrance reviewer, this, this may be more important because uh, this, this olfactory fatigue, this phenomenon, if he doesn't understand this thing, his views will become biased. His, his opinion about a perfume's performance will become biased. So there's a very simple method when you sample fragrances for the first time, you're sampling or you're testing the intensity of that fragrance please i request all of you i don't know how many years you've spent in this fragrance journey but trust me when i say all these things when you spray a fragrance for the first time and you don't have much time you want to test its longevity and performance spray it on an area above your wrist all right spray it here this area target this area and use the same distance that you would use to put on your body on your neck basically wherever you're used to putting your perfumes. So use a safe distance, use the same distance and put it on your area above the wrist, on your forearm. Don't spray it around your neck because the closer a perfume is to you, more is the olfactory fatigue. It's, it's directly proportional. I mean, yes, it's directly proportional. So the shorter the distance, inversely proportional, the shorter the distance, more is the fatigue. Spray it away from your, uh, uh, from your noses, basically. And you won't have this problem. All right. It's the best way of avoiding an olfactory fatigue. Whenever you're moving your forearm, you will get the beautiful whiffs. Whenever you're moving your wrist, you'll get the beautiful whiffs, whiffs and you'll understand the development of the perfume in a very thorough manner, in a very nice manner as well. So it, it really helps. This is one tip which I really wanted to give all of you. And I think I've already talked about this in one of my videos where I show how to sample fragrances. Another important thing. Uh, Avoid putting more than two fragrances on a single day. Avoid putting two or more than two fragrances on a single day. If you haven't washed, please don't try that because you get fatigued very quickly and you will not enjoy, you know, either of these fragrances, either of the fragrances. So that's one thing. Another important tip is when you're layering fragrances, when you're layering fragrances, what you can do is spray one fragrance on one hand, spray the other fragrance on the other hand. Anyway, people away from you will be getting whiffs of both of those. All right. It's not like they can isolate which smell is coming to them. 
it, it, it will be an it will be a combined effect because you know the smell will come out up in the air and it will mix up so you don't need to worry about that don't mix fragrances when you mix fragrances a lot of these molecules crash that higher chance of a chaos going on in the air and you you will get fatigued all right one more important thing here is if you wear a fragrance a strong powerful fragrance or powerful fragrances from your cupboard like uh, interlude amash interlude creed aventus stuff like that um, other loud fragrances there are so many loud beast mode fragrances you know if you keep on wearing those fragrances for a long time and especially in a row what happens your threshold your olfactory threshold you know comes from this level to this level so you need that stimulus you need a higher dose of the perfume to cause uh, you know the same effect so what happens in in these days your sensory reception of fragrances which are more subtle like these ouds and especially something as subtle as beautiful as sublime as the mysore sandalwood oil this is pure sandalwood oil uh, mysore sandalwood oil so what happens your ol olfactory reception becomes completely immune it becomes almost defunct you are not able to pick up finer nuances from these subtle perfumes it's a very common phenomenon and it happens all the time if i keep on wearing strong perfumes i will become resistant i will become immune to the softer scents in my cupboard so if i am wearing aventus for 10 days in a row when i decide to wear millesim imperial on day 11 it just won't last it is lasting on my skin it it is there the scent bubble is around me but i will not be able to smell it and enjoy it that is one thing that you need to be aware of all right so what you do in that case see guys i review many of these finer perfumes many of these exotic scents with need, which need a lot of study which need a lot of patience uh, i also do sessions of studying precious aromatic woods including uh, kiara kinam which is like the most expensive the most sophisticated aroma in the world and you need to lower lower your threshold to enjoy those fragrances so what i do i wear citrus based fragrance citrus based fragrances for about 5 or 6 days to lower my threshold what happens it, it, it what happens is it it definitely neutralizes your senses you don't want to wear too 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 much of that synthetic uh, uh, too much of synthetic perfumes you wear something which is in between niche and uh, uh, your regular designer perfumes shouldn't be too strong 3 to 4 hours of longevity that's what you are looking at so you wear those colognes for about 3 or 4 days your olfactory threshold comes from this level to this level so you get a better stimulus or your your stimulus your your reception is reset all right it's reset so you don't need a lot of fragrance volume to enjoy it you just can do it with a smaller dose so after 3 or 4 days when my nose is reset when my olfactory sensation you know comes back whatever i am able to study these fragrances very well and the lesser the better that's why you don't you don't bathe in oud all right you don't bathe in oud you just enjoy these subtle scents in their most uh minimal quantities that's what these are for and that's where the beauty of these things lie you don't you don't want to smell like um you know uh, wood 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 paint or you don't want to smell like fresh furniture you don't want to smell like fresh leather seats all right the lesser you wear these the finer or the stronger your olfaction becomes that's how i am able to pick up the finer nuances which most other people can't this is a secret but that's what i i am here for i just want to educate you i just want to share my experiences with you so that you enjoy all factory journeys as well and you don't commit these mistakes because there was no one there was no one actually to tell me all these all right all these things i it's just my experience and um, my hours days months and years of study of precious perfume materials i have these fine ouds and oils that i keep on testing so as a reviewer i need to spend a lot of time forget about this reviewing part even as a learner i need to spend a lot of time with these these materials and sometimes i don't wear fragrance at all for about 2 days just to reset my olfaction 
and this performance issue just vanishes it just vanishes guys so if you have that performance problem please use this met method to reset your olfactory receptors all right now how to test for olfactory uh, fatigue uh, what you need to do is it's a very basic test ask you know where perfume and uh, many people i get this query a lot uh, nikhil i'm not able to sniff my perfumes on my skin eats up all the fragrances the skin chemistry my skin chemistry uh, seems to differ from everyone else from everyone first of all guys make sure you have a legitimate product you don't have a fake product how do you check that you check the product code on websites like checkfresh.com but it's definitely not the most uh, reliable method because you can get a refilled bottle so the codes and everything will match but you will get a different scent and that causes a lot of bias in the study of fragrances so give it to someone who has been wearing the same fragrance for a long time send a sample to one of your favorite reviewers there are so many depending on your location um, the country where you stay, the city where you stay, send them a sample and let them test it out for you. Or any other fragrance head for that matter, not just a reviewer, any other fragrance head who, who's ready to help you out on Facebook and otherwise, send them a sample, let them test it and let them give you their opinion. It has happened with me a lot of times. Many people have sent me samples to check whether they are fakes or not and I've helped them. And I've also taken help from a lot of people when I could not get a decent performance out of my fragrances, my oud and stuff like that. And the other person would say, wow, this lasts for a very long time. So that's how you eliminate this bias. All right. The second very simple method to, you know, test for olfactory fatigue from your perfumes is ask a stranger, you know, when you're not able to smell this fragrance, uh, supposing uh, you know supposing you go to your office you wear a ventus and you are not able to smell it anymore you ask one of your colleagues who's been sitting on, on on a desk far away from you ask him to come to you come near to you and you know this may so this may sound a bit awkward but this is how you eliminate this bias you ask them or a close friend you know wherever you are just ask a close friend or a relative or your wife who's not been in you know been around you for a long time ask them to you know sniff the fragrance of you if they're still able to sniff the fragrance ask them to point out you know basic notes or the general you know the general uh, reception just ask them to tell you what they're able to smell and if it matches with something of this sort or your scent that you, or the scent that you're wearing you have eliminated that bias and you know that people are actually able to smell those fragrances of you but it's just you who's fatigued out so these are some of the basic concepts there may be many more but i'm just forgetting i'm really forgetting a lot of things guys so i but i, but I think i've done a fair job of letting you know you know how this olfactory how our olfactory system can trick us and um, this may cause a lot of bias in our perfume uh, testings so never test more than two fragrances at a time and definitely not on skin first first you need to spray the perfume on a paper strip don't directly go to your skin enjoy its performance on the paper and don't keep on sniffing the more you sniff the more fatigued your nose is so smell it once in half an hour or an hour all right and see for the changes look for the changes in its development when you're convinced that it's a safe perfume to wear, then only decide to spray on your skin and then you'll get to learn a lot of things about that perfume. On forearm, the perfume will smell different. When you're wearing the same perfume on your neck region, it will smell different. When you're wearing it on clothes, it will smell different. So there are so many factors affecting a perfume review or assessment of a certain fragrance and I am guilty of not giving so much time to my fragrances as well many a times it happens but 80 to 85 percent of times I never never uh, make a quick judgment I give my fragrances the time that's why I don't do quick reviews and um, I avoid uh, I avoid doing these uh, uh, first testings and uh, 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 first assessments uh, sort of video and uh, yeah that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video it, it, it's a very 
um, casual sort of thing and a very detailed it may become a little boring for but but for those people who actually have the patience to listen to whatever i had to say they'll definitely pick up you know something from this video and they will actually be able to use it in their lives they'll be they'll actually try these tips which i've given today and 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 trust me guys we have a lot of public forums where we discuss fine fragrances like these because ouds let me tell you the reality of ouds 99% of the oud on the market is fake yes it is fake oud is a very specific ent entity it does not smell like shit it does not smell like human feces and anyone who believes that their niche perfume uh, which which actually isn't even allowed to use real oud smells of real oud it doesn't uh, if your best musk perfume that you that you paid 500 us dollars or 750 pounds for um can smell of real oud then uh, uh sorry to break the news to you it isn't real oud or musk people are just cheating you just they they they're just taking you for a ride because these fragrances uh, these aromas these perfume ingredients are extremely rare precious and most of the times banned in most countries especially eu <laughs> so this is an oud a proper oud oil and an oud oil possesses a lot of aroma chemicals that's why it shows a spectrum a very vivified a very different and um, a very broad olfactory spectrum so to pick up the finer nuances and discuss about them we have a lot of public forums where we compare our thoughts where we discuss our thoughts on these ouds uh, especially forums like oudict.com and gaharu.com which is basically your southeast asian name for agarwood gaharu g a h a r u so uh, i basically started you know giving time to my fragrances and i started the proper way the proper training of my nose after meeting people on these forums um because there are some really highly trained noses out there and the the more you train the more finer nuances you'll be able to pick up so you'll start enjoying these fine natural aromas more and more you'll start enjoying the complexities of you you'll start um, studying the complexities of oud you'll start studying the complexities you know held within natural perfume materials and that's what draws you towards natural perfume materials instead of going for the synthetic ones offered in the market that's how the taste or the love for natural materials evolves and the more you learn the more you enjoy this hobby the more this 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 oud bottle ages the more your perfume ages perfumes by arish lathore they age you know the age because there are natural materials there is natural wood it's bound to age there's natural mysore sandal wood it's bound to age so uh, this this your natural perfume bottle is not something which is predictable and that's what you enjoy doing studying that perfume material because there's there's a lot of mystery in those bottles you pay you pay for something which is actually worth having it it won't have a similar smell say after 5 years you know of the bottle resting the smell will be very different and to study this evolution of perfumes is the best part it's it's the most fun part and that's how you train your nose i've spent endless hours reading just reading about how to test these perfumes and 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 trust me guys this is basically um you know i've compiled everything i've compiled everything that i've learned you know i've compiled most of the things most of the tricks which i use to assess my fragrance in today's video i know this is getting unnecessary long so i'll end this here thank you so very much guys once again for being a part of my journey you've all contributed to this channel so hats off to you and um the the, the best thing which has happened you know because of youtube so my my first thanks goes to youtube thank you so much youtube youtube for giving people like me the exposure or the platform where i can disc where i can discuss i i come from a very small town it may seem otherwise but it's a very small town and i am able to communicate with people who are sitting in the united states who are sitting in russia who are uh, some of my friends in greece australia all over the world so many people pakistan bangladesh i have so many friends now and so thank you youtube and uh, this is the best part guys you know involving myself in these conversations about fragrances 
learning from you. I read each and every comment and I try my best to reply to all of you. So it's a very wonderful feeling. I really value the bonds that we share and um, it really means something to me, guys. And I will make sure I meet most of you guys, you know, most of you guys. I'll try my best. I keep on traveling. Uh, I get a lot of opportunities to travel. So if I am in your city or your country, I will make sure that I visit you and um, meet you and I'll let you know. Uh, before I come so that and I'll carry my best perfume products I'll carry these precious ouds so that I am able to give you the insights which I have developed over time I, I will help you see through perfume material so see you guys in another amazing fragrance video maybe uh, a fragrance review of, of an amazing product rather um, until then take care bye bye see you